Hey guys, this is Paul with the Rights Garage. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on the car. Um, if you look here, so I've got a slightly bent axle. See there's a little bit of wobble here. This kind of goes up and down, watch the nut, it kind of moves up and down very slightly. You can see this kind of rocks back and forth. It's hard to tell, it's, I think it's straightened up a little bit. Anyway, there's a little bit of wobble in the axle, so I decided that I was going to get a new axle. So I have a new axle here, I actually have two spare axles. And then also decided to upgrade to the ceramic bearings, which are ridiculously overpriced. Um, I went to Comic Cart and they had bearings for sale. And um, it looked like they were $100 and there was a photograph of three. And then it described in the description that these are bearings that are great for your cart. Well, when you order it, you only get one. So it turns out these bad boys, enough of what I need, cost me $300. So not thinking that's going to be a, a worthy upgrade. But what I thought is I would come... Um, and compare before and after. So basically if I spin the wheel as fast as I can, count how many seconds it spins for. These are with the standard bearings. They're a little old, which is why I decided to replace them. Um, but then we can get a comparison of if the ceramic bearings have less drag and therefore might have a slight improvement. So anyway, so here we go. Let's try a, a quick spin. So that spun for about eight seconds. Now the cart's been cleaned, they've been oiled, so that's as kind of good as they're gonna get. So I've got about an eight second spin, let's try it again. All right, about the same, actually about nine seconds that time. So eight or nine seconds. Uh, and I think what I'll do again is once I've taken the chain off, because the chain off has a lot of resistance, and I'll take the water pumps off. We'll maybe spin it again and see how long it's got, because then it's just spinning the axle in the bearings. So I will come back to that in a little while. So the chain is disconnected, it's just sitting on here free. The water pump's gone, so basically now all we have is the axle, which is spinning, the, the brakes don't touch, so there's virtually no reason there. So we just have the resistance of the bearings, pretty much, that are gonna have any effect on it. So let's, let's time how long the spin takes. So about 32 seconds by my count. Okay, now I'm gonna change out the axle, change out the bearings, put it back together, and let's see what it does. So I'm going to show you how to remove the bearings. Um, the bearings are pressed in. So if you look, you've got a, a kind of curve shape here, which holds the, the bearing in place. It's rounded, so that fits inside. And then what you have is these little channel pieces where you can remove it. So as long as it's not too stiff, you might need a bit of persuading. Basically you turn it, free it up, and then once you get it lined up, it just falls out. So there you go.
Okay, so we have the new ceramic bearings installed and I've just got everything centered, got the wheel centered, got the width set, so 55 inches outside width is what the legally allowed. I did make a small change, so I'd had these on the outside, which is a change I'd made to stiffen the axle up a little bit. Um, one of the problems was you can't lower it all the way down because the bearing gets caught. So I decided not to do that. So anyway, we're basically set at the fast spinning one. I believe we had about 30 seconds with the old bearing. So let's see where we are. Okay, that seemed like about 23 seconds. Let's give them another go. Okay, so around about 25 seconds. So no significant increase in um, speed. Um, and I wonder how much is the bearings and how much is the um, thing. What I think I'm gonna do is oil the bearings because they're brand new. And then we'll, we'll give it another spin and see what happens. Nice bearing lube. Remember the uh, previous bearings had been oiled beforehand. So let's see what we've got now. That was about 43 seconds, I guess. So that that would be about like maybe 25% less reduction compared to the other one, which is pretty good. Um, they were also uh, about a quarter pound lighter, so. Quarter well, pound is, um, it's not a massive amount of weight. It's a reasonable amount of weight on a cart because it only weighs 400 pounds of driver. But with the weight being the bearings, it's rotating mass. Um, and rotating mass really is the most important part of weight on a car. Like if you can add lead and reduce rotating mass to keep the same weight, you would definitely want to do that. So anything that rotates basically, so you're looking at wheels, brake discs, um, bearings, all the engine components and stuff, which typically you can't touch, but anything that is on here that turns. So if you're gonna spend money on titanium, get all these bolts done, get all these bolts and things, anything that, that, that rotates on the car is, is the most important thing to lose your weight and it gives you the biggest performance advantage. The, it's a pretty complicated um, equation, but a good rule of thumb is uh, rotating mass is worth about three times as much as regular mass. There you go. Okay, so here we are. We've got the chain hooked up. We've got the water pump back on. Let's give, a, give it a whirl, see how long it spins for. And nine, ten seconds. nine seconds so i think we had a six and eight before so we're probably looking at about a 10 to 20 percent reduction in friction which it's something certainly significant um is it worth 300 dollar bearings i don't know that's a that's a big pill to swallow but um i think there's definitely going to be a performance advantage and it's nice to save uh a quarter pound of rotating mass so that's that's something as well um, so, I don't know, I guess I'm happy with it, it's, it's, it's enough. Um, I uh, obviously competed really well this year, finished um, third at the Solo National Championship, and then in the Pro Solo I finished second overall out of 300 drivers, we had to qualify for that. So, if it gives me a tenth of a second, half a tenth of a second, it's, it's worth it. Alright, thank you.